Welcome back, everybody, for another episode here on the Psych Ward. With our shorts campaign done, which had very mixed results, in October here, I've decided to continue the Generator Rex hype train. Today, we're going to be talking about Rex's literal kryptonite and the antithesis to nanites themselves, Fitzy Feekins. But before, of course, I must ask you to generate a like on that video. Because you've heard it a million times, likes, comments, really any interaction overall are the most valuable things that you could donate to the channel. But beginning, the season three episode, Dead Zone, begins with an unfortunate mix up about a British rock festival where Noah and Rex thought it was a music fest, but it was actually an English geologist convention. While on the way back, Rex notices Providence agents apprehending someone on the road, and Rex, after turning off their car, intervenes only to find that his powers aren't working. Rex has to bluff that it's Agent 6 in the car and not Noah to give himself enough time to kidnap his literal kryptonite. Introducing Fitzy Feekins, the Dead Zone. Feekins isn't a very complex character, like kind of a walking bad joke versus what he's actually capable of. Example being when Fitzy immediately reveals Rex's location to Providence agents, or he always gets comically carsick, or he has an odd obsession with milkshakes even though he's lactose intolerant. What if I want a milkshake? He is quite an oddball, but it's even more interesting to see. He was also attending the rock convention at the same time as the two, but was ordered to be captured by Black Knight. Now, it's unknown why Feekins emits some sort of field that disables nanites, but unlike mutated evos, this directly stops Rex from creating machines. The distance on it changes, and that can also affect, I guess, Rex's ability to control his nanites, but Rex still says that it feels fuzzy. Due to Fitzy's status as walking evo kryptonite, we can assume that this is an effect of the nanite event and that Feekins is an evo or at least affected by nanites. This episode is actually pretty hilarious, because without his powers, Rex and Noah have to go on the lam, so to speak, to get Feekins to safety. From crashing Noah's grandfather's one-of-a-kind car. That was a 77! They don't make them anymore! Oh, my granddad's gonna kill me! To living in sketchy motels, or even donning incredibly bad disguises, exception of Noah. But the entire episode, Providence is in hot pursuit, with Black Knight going as far as to use, as she put it, the most advanced satellite system in the world to keep track of Fitzy's location, even tracking the group to a burger chain drive through hey, Black Knight? I don't believe it. The Black Knight works at Bob's Biscuit Barn? Rex, after being found again, uses Providence's knowledge of Feekins to his advantage, and once Noah and Fitzy switch outfits, Rex was able to confront Providence with his powers and still, even then, the pawns still attempt to go after Fitzy, with Rex now in pursuit. And once again, let me say, in this episode overall, Rex actually displayed an incredible skill by evading and casually handling a small army, not only leading Providence on a wild goose chase without his powers, but even downing multiple ships and beating several black pawns in combat, though he kinda just hit the new tube, but you know how that goes. In the end, though they make it to the meetup location, Providence still finds and surrounds the group, but thankfully, as Holiday put it, the good guys win this time, and thanks to her new stealth technology, they escape Providence and even set Fitzy up with his very own ice cream truck. At the end of the episode, Black Knight reveals that even though the search for Feekins is going nowhere, it simply means that their approach to Rex will have to be more aggressive. And it's now obvious why Black would expend so many resources for someone like Fitzy. He's a direct counter to not only Rex, but even Evos like Van Kleist or Breach or Black Knight herself. Realistically, any Evo that seems to manipulate nanites or their environment with nanites versus the evos that took on mutations it's specifically shown in the second to last episode of the series Endgame, where instead of overpowering rex black had fitzy captured brought in and that instantly stopped both of their powers now what happened to fitzy after the events of Endgame? we can only assume that unless his dead zone effect was separate from evos he was cured by rex deactivating all nanites on the planet though even if he wasn't deactivated, I suppose it would just become a worthless ability unless it's somehow responsible for Fitzy's low geology, but either way, thanks for watching yet another episode here on the Psych Ward. I got caught up in life things, so I wasn't able to get this out until October versus September like I wanted to, and for some odd reason, we got demonetized on the third and reinstated the same day. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> thank you all for your patience, and remember, everyone, stay sane and stay safe.